Hey guys and welcome to The Fish Room. I am Rachel O'Leary and it is Thursday. Um, again, I just wanted to thank everyone who made donations for my husband's birthday fund. We did a live Q&A last night that I re-uploaded this morning. If you're curious to meet him or see him, make sure you check that out. We raised over $4,600 and I am over the moon about it. Um, this week down here I've just been working on clearing tanks and so that makes it especially counterintuitive that I bought myself some fish. But I've gotten really inspired by the native fish in the 150 so I picked up a few more species to have on hand and quarantine to be able to work with outside. And I think you guys are really going to like them. So I cut open the box but I haven't seen what's inside yet so cross your fingers for me that everything goes well. So let's take a closer look and we'll get them into some aquariums. So I ordered from an aquaculture lab down in Florida. Um, I've gotten fish from them before. They're pretty expensive, but the quality is always really good. And I ordered three different fish to work with outside. I ordered Elisoma okifinoki, the okifinoki pygmy sunfish. Um, I got like 10 of them, I think. And these are a fish that I have worked with in the past and do really, really awesome outside, but aren't super fa fantastic inside because they often require live food. So it'll be good that I can move them out sooner rather than later. They all appear to be in good condition. I also got in least killifish, the Heterandria formosa, 20 plus of those. Um, these are arguably the smallest live bearer out there. I think they're really adorable, very breedable, and just a great versatile little nano fish that I wanted to be able to share with you guys. And lastly, I got in uh, golden top minnows, which are slightly larger fish, um, but they're supposed to be really breedable, great for aquariums, super colorful, and just a really interesting fish that is brand new to me. I thought that they'd be fun to breed outside and then have to add to the 150. So I'm going to put these into aquariums and we'll take a closer look. Now I intentionally put these um, pygmy sunfish into a tank with a lot of mom, and that's because there's a lot of microorganisms that live in debris like that and it'll help me feed them a bit. There's also some pest snails in here to produce paramecium. Those two are ladies and you can tell that because they're not particularly colorful. You can see a boy here and even just out of the shipping bag his color is gorgeous, really rich blue. You can see how gorgeous the boys are. I really can't wait to move them outside and let them benefit from all the natural food and see how intense their coloration gets. They're a really gorgeous little fish. And this is a type of fish that's well suited to a very small aquarium, so hopefully they'll do well for me. Now these are the least killies. They've got a barred vertical striping and like a goldish blue iridescence to them that I think is really striking. They're a super hardy, easy fish. So I think they'll be one that a lot of you guys will really enjoy learning more about. And they're gonna be exceptional for breeding outside. These are the golden top minnows. Um, they're supposed to get red spangling, have a lamp eye, be pretty outgoing and uh, really make great aquarium fish and I really don't know very much about them um, I did some basic research before purchasing just to make sure um, their compatibility would work in the 150 And it really sounds like they would. I, I really think they're pretty cool and I'm really excited to work with them and learn more about them and share that, that information with you guys. See how beautiful the spangling is already on this male. Now he's a bit tattered up from shipping, but I imagine he's going to, um, with some clean water and some good food, he'll, he'll be back in shape in no time. Look how gorgeous they are. Oh, I'm excited about this. I'm pleased to report that Captain Cranky Pants is healing nicely. You can see his fins are regrowing and those scrapes on his side are going away. Whiskey is still running his laps in the aquarium, more outgoing than ever. They appreciate your well wishes. Captain's doing his happy wiggle dance. Um, just wanted to thank you guys again for your continued support and I hope to see a lot of you at the Big Fish Deal this weekend.